try that. You're okay. I should do half of this, did not it? Oh, that looks nice. Give it a second, it's running out. We want it. Go ahead and do it and shake it some more. Or dump it out the bottom.
All said and done, let's give a little recap on how this little cement mixer is doing. This is an eTerra brand from Skid Steer Solutions, and it's pretty much a little Haas. I enjoy this thing. Uh, little projects, definitely worth it. Something like what we just did. Uh, it was about equivalent to one cement truck's worth, but it was in a spot you couldn't get a cement truck to. You need to have a pump truck involved, and we used a little uh, blue machine so we could shuttle the con mix over to it. So we did minimal damage to the grass and we were able to squeeze the skid steer barely through that gate over there and it took us about three hours three hours to knock that all out and it cost us a third um versus you know only about a thousand bucks of material uh, a couple things i like to change about this uh, it's got these little holes in the side because we removed the um, little grate that was over the top. I don't know what that little grate was for other than it gave a nice spot to throw the bag of cement on there so it would rip it open. Other than that, it was kind of in the way. Ideally, you just take this thing and scoop it in the con mix, roll it back through. We were throwing three bags of cement mix in there, tilling it up with the water to suffice that kind of mixture, and then just going and dumping it like a loader bucket. And that worked out great, except for it's got this little piece of angle iron on there. That sucker's in the way. And then if you got a soupy run, it does leak out those holes. So couple of things that could be changed but overall awesome design compared to some of the older stuff that we're running this is gosh my grandpa bought this thing i mean this is old and it's done a lot a lot of work i'll tell you what uh, a lot of cements a lot of cements a lot of basements and stuff have actually um been constructed with this damn thing all the cement slabs over in front of my dad's garage we did that all with this put it in position in the middle of the slab drive up to it with a uh, scoop load of con mix and you know wheel loader shovel it all in there put like half a sack in there i mean one sixth of what that thing can do this thing is very tiny it's not very fast and then once the slab catches up to you then you gotta pick this thing up and move it not ideal and you gotta feed it all by hand and then this one is just a bigger version of that but it's for a three point so you can actually go up to your pile get it all scooped in again with a shovel throw in maybe one sack in this thing go over there it's got a hydraulic little dump on it dumper in this is pretty sweet compared to that hands down and it holds you know twice maybe sack and a half so maybe half of what that one is i don't think it's that much i'm thinking one sack but this thing's a huge improvement right here small little jobs like we just knocked down we did have a lot of manpower and a lot of girl power all the cousins came through today and helped out but I like this thing. This is pretty slick. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Check this out if you're interested. A uh, pretty good little thing. They make all kinds of cool stuff for skid steers nowadays. It's awesome. And we didn't have to shovel hardly anything in here. Just take a whole pound of cement or a whole bag of cement, three of them, throw it in there. Ended up just throwing them right on top of these when we didn't have any con mix in it. And they just break right on that and you pull the bag out and good to go. And we did have to extend these a little bit, which is unfortunate. They weren't quite long enough to full dump the mixer bucket. You know, it's whatever. We'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Later.